Inflammation in the body is, is really a process. Inflammation, uh, you know, we, we typically think of inflammation as a bad thing, but really we wouldn't last a day without the immune response and, and really inflammation protecting our bodies against foreign invaders like bacteria and, and viruses. Because of our diet, because of our lifestyles, inflammation has increased dramatically. Now let's talk about what inflammation is. Inflammation are mediators, they're molecules, they're signals within your body that are circulating within your body and they're hitting or they're attaching or they're signaling cells and tissues, preparing them to destroy a foreign invader. Well, if there's no invader and that process continues on and on and on, without an invader there, you begin to destroy tissues or organ systems. So if you have inflammation in your coronary artery, you have heart disease. If you have it in your joints, you have arthritis. If you have it in your gut, you have Crohn's disease. If you have it in your skin, you have psoriasis. If you have it in your brain, you have Alzheimer's disease. If you understand the riddle of inflammation, if you understand how to reduce, attenuate, lower inflammation, you can have dramatic effects in a whole range of lifestyles and diseases. I often talk about lifestyles, an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. In the face of the modern Western diet, in the face of our lifestyles, we must understand how to lower inflammation. And that requires a comprehensive, integrative approach to lower whole body, or as we call, in, as a research scientist, systemic inflammation. And if we can lower systemic inflammation, then all the processes, all the diseases that it's affecting will be either prevented or made better. Thank you.